YouTube, what's good? Coming along for the ride today. Trey jumped in. We're gonna head down to see uh, Chris Beanie Wells and Daniel Boomheron, uh, both former Ohio State running backs, NFL players. They got a podcast called Beanie and the Boom podcast down here at Letterman Row. Uh, a lot of Ohio State specific type things. You know, I'm a huge Buckeye fan, but we're just gonna talk about life and all kinds of different stuff. So I'm looking forward to being a guest on their podcast. You know, I poked them for years for these guys to do some media like this. Been friends with both of them for a while and really looking forward to it. So we're gonna bring you along for the ride. You know we got a YouTube strategy now, kinda. So get ready for that. We're gonna keep putting out more content. Appreciate you guys. So let's go. He recaps what it takes to be successful, what it's like working and being a high-level fitness athlete, and just the art of hustle, baby. I just had a lot of aspirations because I was tired of watching my family struggle, and and that's really where all this is rooted. So it's it's a it's a perfect storm of being fed up with situ the situation, finding what I love to do, and then just pulling it all together with um, something that's hard to even probably explain the fires like just burn so deep. A lot of times you're only as good as the team that you have no question. around you. And some of the time, man, in my trucking shit, I mean, I failed at times because I had some shitty people around me, dude, big time. Yeah. So that's why I asked the question. I mean, you're super successful. I've, I've had to so. fire like legitimately like four or five people I've trained with too. Mm -hmm. I've given these guys opportunities. Corey who cheers for you in the gym is different than Corey who's in the office. Uh -huh. I mean, hey, no, don't get me wrong. That shit is hard Hell to get yeah. up and, you know. But once you walk in the door. Once you walk in the door, you know how they say, the hardest thing about the gym is getting it. Just getting there, right. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the camaraderie is where it's at, man. I think that, here's the thing. When people, you know, are done with team sports, they're done with structured practices. They're done with goal setting. They're done with that butterflies of, oh, shit, we got Michigan this weekend. Yeah. I'm running out the tunnel. Yeah. That shit's over, right? Yeah. So it's like, well, I push these guys accountability, be there. And like Mo Lee, you know, usually played yeah. with Claret. He he started coming like probably four months ago. I'm like, brother, it's time you got to do a meet. Mm -hmm. I'm like, time to get some butterflies back. You feel <laughs> wow. me? And he's like, gee, I got to wear that singlet? <laughs> I was like, no, nah, we'll go to one of the meets where you got to wear the singlet. <laughs> All right, outro. That was pretty fun. I'm proud of my guys, right? I'm that guy that's friends with everybody that when I see something I think they can do, I just bug them all the time until they actually try it. Beanie and Boom, is, uh, is a, that's exactly what I did to both of them. I told them they got to get together. They're already hanging out. Ohio State needs a podcast like that. I was like honored to be a guest. It was a lot of fun. I'm proud of my guys. And you know, I'm like an undercover athlete out here, so I always like hanging out with them, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun, and I, it was cool for them to ask me some questions that I haven't talked to them just like out here hanging out. So it was a good time. Check out their podcast. Trey will put the link below. Appreciate you guys. Peace.